only Racer Classic gives you exactly what you want at three convenient locations. Featuring Lubbock's only Racer Wave and Carnival Falls. And now, Racer Classic on 50th in Detroit is proud to announce the opening of their brand new detail shop. Race on over to Racer Classic Car Wash today. Welcome in everyone to RedRaiders.com. I'm Zach Long with the Lubbock Avalanche Journal and beside me I'd like you to introduce you to Landon Wright from Reckham 24-7, our recruiting partner for Texas Tech basketball and football. And today our task, Landon, on the eve or morning of National Signing Day, depending on when you're watching this, all the hubbub, all the buildup to a recruiting class for Cliff Kingsbury's first recruiting class at Texas Tech is over. We're on the eve and the morning of that time, and this class is coming together slowly. It's been very aggressively, you know, changing every, I mean, matter of fact, by the time we get this done, it's probably going to change three times before we get out of here, but we're going to try to keep it very simple and just give you a preview today, and we're going to look at first three names to watch on this recruiting class, and Landon, why don't you get us started with Devin Lauderdale. Okay, Devin Lauderdale, wide receiver at Houston Bel Air. He is a four-star guy at 24-7 sports, and uh, he's a guy with offers from, from just about everywhere, Alabama, Ohio State, Notre Dame. He was committed to Tech uh, under the old staff, and then during the coaching change, he decommitted, and then uh, Within the last few weeks, he's recommitted to the Red Raiders, and they're expecting a, a, you know big things out of Lauderdale. He's a big-time recruit, real fast, real shifty. Uh, could come in and possibly play right away, you know, if he if he comes in and gets the job done. Yeah, you can definitely tell on the message boards on Reckham 24/7 the the fans a big sigh of relief when that national letter of intent comes across that fax machine today. Secondly, let's look at Gary Moore. Gary Moore is an, another wide receiver, kind of flew, uh, I guess. Under the public radar, uh, he's a four-star guy, and actually at 24-7 Sports, he's actually rated higher than Lauderdale. He was thought by many to be a grade risk, but I spoke to him within the last week, and he said he's, he's two points away on the ACT from qualifying. Uh, he's a 6'6", six, six, uh, 215 uh, range kind of guy, and, and he, he could come in, and he said they're trying to put 20 more pounds on him, so he could possibly come in and, and play kind of a, a wide receiver tight end thing, but from you know every, everything I know about him, he's just uh, outside standing athlete and uh, it could be a big gift for the Red Raiders. And now the number three person on our list to watch at a absolutely crucial position for Texas Tech on the line. Let's look at Balin Brown. Yeah, I, I chose Balin for this number three spot because uh, you know, according to our ratings, he's not the third best guy in, in the class. But you know, talking to him, I did the little thing every week where uh, we, we talked about the commit stats uh, week in and week out. And I don't think this guy ever had less than 14 pancakes in, in a I game. Guess. You know, and that's a San Antonio O'Connor. That's you know, it's a big high school in the San Antonio area. So, and uh, at the offense defense bowl, he was runner up for offensive lineman of the year. Uh, uh, and that, that featured kids from everywhere, kids from every state. So I think he's kind of an under the radar guy. In terms of his rating, you know, he has some impressive BCF, BCS offers, but I think in terms of his rating, I think he should be a little bit higher. And, and I think uh, Red Raiders are like what they see out of him. And everyone knows that position is an absolute must in terms of getting some immediate help with everyone that they lost. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Now, you know, we're talking about when you look at recruiting and signing day stars. Everyone talks about stars, four stars, five stars, three stars, six stars, you know, whatever rating system they have. And, you know, our own Don Williams, it's, it, he hates it. He despises it because these kids are 17 years old. You just don't know what they're going to do. So let's throw away the stars and just look at some of these kids in this class. And why don't you give me one name of a kid who may not have the highest rating in the world but could be a big get for the Red Raiders? I think a, a guy that really fits that is, is Demetrius Alston. He's a defensive end out of Hutchinson Community College. Uh, he, he missed most of his last season at Hutch with a broken leg, and he'd redshirted the year before. So he's roughly two years removed from, from football, but but uh, despite all that, he still has offers from, from Tennessee, from Cincinnati, from Kansas State, and he was a 6'4", 260 defensive end. And, and I, I spoke with him uh, yesterday, and, and he said uh, he's on track to be 100% by the time he gets on campus. And, you know, if he hasn't missed a step, then he could be a steal for the Red Raiders because at 24-7 sports, we just have him as, as a two-star recruit, you know, towards the bottom of Tech's list. But he has the potential to be one of the better guys in this class. And the Jayhawk Conference in Kansas, nothing to laugh about. That is a very good junior college conference right there with the Texas and the Mississippi schools. So hopefully a kid that can come in and give the defensive line a little bit boost for the Red Raiders. Well, that's gonna, uh, we're going to wrap up that look. And I know that's a very short look, but a lot of things are going to change. And we've got a ton of coverage coming the rest of Wednesday for you. So we want to keep you uh, just, you know, don't give them too much, right, Landon? Oh, yeah. 
but you know where, where they should go if they want to get a lot more of that is reckham 247com and redraiders.com. We're going to have full coverage all day tomorrow. We'll have Cliff Kingsbury's press conference. We'll have reaction from assistant coaches, some of these people who we haven't heard from yet, so that's going to be kind of exciting. And we'll hear about these kids and maybe a few surprises. Do we got anything coming tomorrow? Uh, I think so. There seems to be a little, little bit of smoke. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me to see uh, the Red Raiders add anywhere between one and four or five guys uh, tomorrow. So we'll, we'll just have to see. And that right there is enough of a reason to keep locked in to wreck them 24-7 at RedRaiders.com. For Landon Wright, I'm Zach Long with the Avalanche Journal. We'll see you next time.